Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to read a story that comes to us all the way from the country of India. It's called The Blind Men and the Elephant. Oh, be sure to subscribe. There were once six blind men who stood by the roadside every day and begged from the people who passed. They had often heard of elephants, but they had never seen one. For being blind, how could they? It so happened one day that an elephant was driven down the path where they stood. When they realized that the great beast was before them, they asked the driver to let him stop so that they might see him. Of course, they could not see him <laughs> with their eyes, but they thought that by touching him, they could learn just what kind of animal he was. The first one happened to put his hand on the elephant's side. Well, well, he declared. Now I know all about this beast. Why, it is exactly like a wall. The second man felt only the elephant's tusk. <clears throat> My brother, he said, you are mistaken. He is not at all like a wall. He is round and smooth oh, and sharp. He is more like a spear than anything else. The third happened to take hold of the elephant's trunk. <laughs> Both of you were wrong, he said. Anybody who knows anything can see that this elephant is like a snake. Well, then the fourth man grabbed one of the elephant's legs. <laughs> How blind you are, he exclaimed. <laughs> it is very plain to me that he's round and tall like a tree. The fifth was a very tall man, and he chanced to take hold of the elephant's ear. <clears throat> the blindest man ought to know that this beast is not like any of the things you name, he said. It is exactly like a huge fan. The sixth, he was very blind indeed, and it was some time before he could even find the elephant at all. At last, he sees the animal's tail. <laughs> oh, foolish fellows, he cried. You surely have lost your senses. <laughs> this animal's not like a wall or a, or a spear or, or a snake or a tree. Neither is he like a fan. <clears throat> but any person with a particular sense can see that he's exactly like a rope. Then the elephant moved on. And the six blind men sat by the roadside all day and quarreled about him. Each believed that he knew just how the animal looked. And each called the others mean names because they didn't agree with him. People sometimes act foolishly and make judgments based on their own inability to see other points of view. And that is our story of the blind men and the elephant. <laughs> I so hope you enjoyed our story. And until next time, happy story time. Bye.